Back on Inside Tennessee, Billy Stair. Daniel, uh, let me take a different topic. My understanding is Blue Cross has sued the state of Tennessee because you had a request that they make public their contracts with hospitals that provide services to state employees. I hope I got that right. Can you explain that issue to people who would not know much about it? One of the, pro the priorities in the legislature uh, and my priority is to provide transparency in health care. I think that's one of the big problems that we have, lack of transparency, lack of competition. And I asked for data concerning claims paid under the state health care plan. Mm -hmm. Blue Cross and Blue Shield and Cigna are the third party administrators for the plan. They have resisted turning over our data to us so that we can audit their performance. And why do you think that is? Uh, they don't, I, th I don't think they want us to take a close look at it. Okay. The Attorney General is negotiating with the, with the Department of Finance and Administration and with the insurance companies to try to encourage them to turn the data over pursuant to a confidentiality agreement. I'm hopeful that we'll get it very soon and we can audit and determine whether these administrators are doing their job properly. A lot of money is at stake, a lot of taxpayer money. We want to make sure it's being used properly. Um, Gloria, just sort of a personal question for you. Now that we have a new speaker, uh -huh. uh, are you being recognized to speak? And I know you've got... Uh, I haven't had a lot of topics that I'm like <laughs> dying to talk about. I know you've got on committees about. that you yeah, actually yeah. wanted Yeah, I, I did get on the... You know, he's, he's definitely making those steps, and so <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, I, I, it remains to be seen when we get in some of these discussions, especially the discussions that some of us are so passionate about. I, I feel like... Do y'all, I mean, both of you, I'd like to hear both of your comments. He's, Cameron he's, Sexton, we've had him on our show. I really feel like sort of a real new day down there. He said, I mean, he said it so many times. I think if he were not to call right. me, it would not be, right. it wouldn't look good for him. Yeah. <laughs> Martin, do you see a difference in, I guess, just the way the meetings are run and the sessions are run and committees and so forth? Yes, uh, Cameron's a friend of mine. As you know, his parents reside here in Knox right? County. He's here very often. Uh, I think the, the legislature has a lot of confidence in Cameron, and I know I do. I think it's going to be fair, it's going to be transparent, and it's going to have a lot of initi initiative with regard to things like health care and education. Are Speaking you, of, of, of Don't you want to ask that? <laughs> uh, there's a lot of buzz that former Speaker Glenn Cassidy would like to run for majority whip. Are there any circumstances under which you would vote for Glenn Cassidy? <laughs> there probably are, but I have not heard that he's running for majority whip. I know we have two persons uh, who've already put their name in the hat. I, I have not heard Glenn Cassidy's. <clears throat> who, who are the two, Mark? Mark Hall and Johnny, Johnny Garrett. They are running for uh, majority whip. Yeah, Gloria's eyebrows got raised on that one. <laughs> We're assuming you'd be a no, Gloria. I, uh, well, I don't know. Well, she doesn't vote in the I don't get a say in that, but yeah, I'd be a no. <laughs> Let me, uh, John, at the start, as we started the program, uh, made the observation that GOP retains the supermajority in the legislature, which essentially says they can do whatever they want to do, pretty much. But here's my question to you all. Are there issues that Democrats and Republicans can agree on in these coming months, issues that you could mutually uh, pass uh, uh, legislation? And what are they? You, you know, I think so. It's funny that typically we do most often vote together on most issues, you know, when you look at the majority of the votes. Um, but I think that we're, a lot of folks are talking about pre-K on both sides of the aisle. You know, that's something that um, we can agree on. Um, We'll, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's, pro it's not going to happen with some of these issues we've heard about recently, but um, it'd be interesting with Governor Lee has got his paid family leave and very much like the paid family leave that I brought last year. And, and then apparently somebody in the House and the Senate are going to bring uh, open that up a little bit more to some state employees, but it's not a lot of state employees. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't include university folks or anything mm -hmm. like that. So, so I'm going to have a bill that's going to open it up to, to more people. So, And Martin, any thoughts on? I think there are issues that we can agree on, as, you know, specifically transparency, privacy, efficiency. I think those are all things that, that criminal legislators. Justice. Criminal yes, justice. Yes, criminal justice reform. I think all legislators are confirmed with, uh, 
are very concerned with those issues and we can, can agree on many aspects of them. You talked about education being a priority for folks in your district. What is one piece of legislation that you really hope sees some attention and also passes this session? Healthcare transparency, mm -hmm. where we I think that's a solution to, to the problem of where we are now. So I have a bill that will create a website whereby claims paid information is gathered and made available to the public so they can shop and see who's offering uh, what services at what price. So I'm hopeful that, that will get some attention in the legislature this year. And how about you, Representative Johnson? Well, you know, um, fully funding education is important. The DOE, we just heard from our own state DOE that we're about 486 million short. And so I think that that's something that absolutely has to be addressed and we're still after a county commission meeting and school board meeting the other day and both of those groups were really concerned about mental health, all I can think is, hey guys, we expand Medicaid, that's health care, that's mental health care as well, that's something we can do at no cost to Tennessee. It's still sitting there, North Carolina's looking at it, Kansas just did it, there's still no reason we don't get that done. Representative Johnson, Representative Daniel, we appreciate your time and insights today. Thank you. Thank you, John. Great to see you again. We're back with our talk round right after this.